All right, well, first find of the day. We got two box turtles made in here. They are alive. At first, I thought they were dead, but he is alive. I don't know why it looks like that, but they're mating right now, so I'm not going to question it. That's super cool. I've never seen this before. The box turtle underneath is a very unique coloration. It's actually kind of crazy looking. I'm not going to mess with these guys too much. Just going to get a couple pictures because obviously I don't want to go picking out box turtles that are mating. We want as many box turtles as we can around here. So I'm just gonna let them do their thing and get a few pictures, but that's really cool. At least I found some reptiles today, because this is gonna be pretty much a bust. I was out here looking for hognose snakes. It's like an hour and a half away from my house, and I, it was supposed to like start storming at like noon. So I thought I could beat the storm, come out here, look for hogs. There's a really good looking field right up there. I think I hear spring peepers. And um, yeah, right when I got here, it just started raining, which is kind of unfortunate, but at least those guys made it worth it. All right, guys, so first snake of the video is actually only my second garter snake of the year. I've been having terrible luck finding these guys lately, but this is actually a relocation. My neighbor had one of these in her yard, so got him out from like this little bin that he was in. I'm gonna release him down here. The stream only like a couple minutes away from the house, but I think he, it's better for him to be down here instead of an area that gets mowed all the time. So I'm gonna release him. There you go, buddy. You can figure out where he wants to go. Pretty cool. All right, what's up everybody? It's a beautiful Wednesday afternoon and I'm looking for milk snakes today at the spot where I found a milk snake last video. And I just wanna give a quick announcement real quick before I start searching. And that's that I actually recently published online a uh, field herping magazine. And I'm gonna put the link in the description if you guys wanna go check it out. I got a bunch of other herpers involved in it. Some wrote articles, some just like sent in pictures. And I wrote a lot of the articles myself and designed it and everything. So if you guys wanna check it out, that'd be really cool. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go search for maybe like three hours, see, if I, see what I can turn up. Hopefully some milk snakes today, that's the main target. I was out here last week only for like, like at this particular spot, this talus slope, probably like only like an hour and a half when I turned up a milk snake in a ring neck. So hopefully in three hours, I can turn up some stuff. All right, guys, uh, first snake of the day was this rat snake. Sadly, he kind of slithered in there. And it would be, it'd probably hurt him to try to get him out. So he's somewhere in there. Dang, he was under that rock right there. I wanted to get an NC2 shot real quick. And then he just took off and I grabbed him as he was going around here. And he just went right in there. So, I mean, you, you guys saw his tail. That was a rat snake. Dang. All right, guys. <laughs> well, I just flipped a snake. It is a freaking copperhead. Why am I not even surprised? I swear, every time I have a close call with a venomous snake, it is always a copperhead. I mean, okay, this guy's actually cooperating quite a bit. Like, I don't really think this is a close call, but, like, I did put my hands right there, kind of in the direction his face was. Wow. All right, here's a better view of his uh, face. That is crazy. Well, that just goes to show copperheads are not out to get you, even though I think I've already proven that time and time again on this channel. I got scared for a second because I looked down at my hand right after flipping this rock and I had that gash, but it's definitely just from flipping the rocks. That was definitely scary at first. But if this guy bit me, I'm sure I would have felt it. Oh man, that is crazy. All right guys, so here we have a red-bellied cooter, which is actually a threatened species in Pennsylvania. I saw three of these guys yesterday when I came to the spot, and this spot's like super close to my house. And I was just completely shocked that we had them here. And it makes sense, it's a good habitat for them. But I'm surprised this guy's letting me get so close. Yesterday they just took off both times I came over here. But I, I got some voucher shots. Oh, looks like he's about to take off. Trying to go 
get a good look on camera. I at least got some voucher shots though, so I can upload those to the survey I'm a part of, because that's a pretty cool find, some sort of threatened species here in the state. All right, what's up everybody? It's about a week later after I found that copperhead at that one talus slope, and it's been like extremely hot the past few days, like in the 90s. I wasn't really able to get out much, except to see that one red-bellied cooter, or actually a couple red-bellied cooters, but I didn't get many on video. I just got that one on video. But anyway, it's currently Tuesday, and I'm actually laying down some boards that I've been hoarding. I'm finally laying them down. There's one right here. I kind of hide them the best I can so nobody moves them and also so nobody can see them like over like satellite imagery and stuff. But I mean, I have no idea if the spot's going to be good, but it, it looks good. I mean, it's a power line cut and there's definitely a few rocks here, like some big rocks that I'm sure snakes might be under. And I just obviously would not be able to flip a boulder like that, but hopefully there's like at least racers in the area that might utilize these boards. I only laid out a couple today because I, I, I actually couldn't fit. A couple of them in my car some of the biggest boards here's the best one that i have the highest hopes of maybe producing or at least like a racer like hopefully a milk like like a milk would be like the perfect thing that i'm targeting here but who knows only time will tell probably give it like a month and then i'll come here and see if anything uses these but i'm actually going to check a little bit up there probably like half mile away there's it looked like on google maps there was a huge pile of rocks. So I'm hoping they're small enough that I can flip and maybe turn up a milk snake today. It is a beautiful day. It's like high 60s. So like I, I don't know how much stuff we basking right now. And I, I'm sure there might be some stuff because it is a nice overcast day, which a lot of times snakes really like the overcast days. So yeah, I'll see if I can turn anything up by those rocks that I've scouted out. And then hopefully in the next couple months, at least one of these boards will have a snake under it. All right, guys, so first two snakes of the day, we got these two little ringneck snakes. I'm so happy to have actually found something. I'm in this beautiful looking habitat right now. It just takes like an hour to get to because the only way to really get here is to hike through that power line cut, which is all overgrown. There's poison ivy everywhere and thorns. It was kind of a nightmare getting down here, but I think that made the trip worth it just to at least know that there's snakes around here. And like, like this is really like one of the only good rocks to flip, honestly. The rest of these are either way too big or like too far down the ground. But that one had these two guys under it, which is a good sign. It might mean that, and there's probably milks around here. It's just a matter of finding the right cover. I, I might have to bring more boards down here, which would be a nightmare bringing them down here, but it might be worth it because there's definitely snakes around here. Like this is like perfect looking habitat. Yes, really cool. Two little ringneck snakes. All right, guys, so I just found this board here the other day and I laid it down in a better spot. I was not expecting to already flip something under it, but I kind of just flipped it like just in case. And there was actually a snake under it, which is kind of surprising. Just a little grumpy garter snake here. And for some reason, he's pissed at my friend who's just standing there. He didn't actually bite me yet, but he desperately wants to bite Nick. So I don't know why I'm the one holding him. Yeah, pretty cool. It looks like, like he's gonna shed pretty soon. It's actually the first one I found down at the stream this whole year, which is probably not good. I'm hoping no one like came down here and killed a bunch of them. Yeah, pretty cool though. I'm gonna put this guy back in just a second. All right, we're just checking for garter or for water snakes this one spot and just found this garter snake out basking. Second one of the day. Pretty sure this is only like the fourth one of the year, which is kind of surprising. Holy crap. There you go, buddy. <laughs> Not a huge fan of us. All right, don't think there's any water snakes out, but I'll double check just to make sure. All right, guys, first find of the day, the spot that will hopefully have hog nose snakes. I've been here a couple times this year and I haven't found any, but I can always rely on the wood turtles to at least make the trip worth it. This guy was right on the trail. I'm probably not gonna film many of them today since I filmed a ton of them last video. All right guys, I almost just stepped on the snake. I think this is a racer. I'm gonna double check because I'm pretty sure hog nose scales are slightly keeled and these are completely smooth. I was so close to stepping on this dude's tail, holy crap. He's going all the way back there. 
I'm trying to find his head to make sure he's not like eating something right now or else I won't bother him. But if he's just kind of like chilling out in there, then I'll probably pick him up real quick. All right, so he's not eating anything. He was just kind of stretched out. But it's actually a rat snake. I thought for sure it was gonna be a racer because the completely smooth scales pretty much. Rat, rat snakes are normally slightly keeled, but that's pretty cool. It's very curious as to what I'm doing right now. That's awesome. All right, so he started to move. I was able to pick him up. Kind of left that super thick foliage right there. So I could just grab him without getting him all tangled up in the grass. Sometimes that does happen. I just have to let him go because I don't want to pull on them. But it's been a while since I got a rat snake in hand. Look at that ventral. Very cool. Hey there, buddy. <laughs> oh man, I love rat snakes. Although I should try to get a better grip on this guy real quick. Here's a nice shot of his ventral. Oh god, I'm getting attacked by horse flies right now. Right when I started this video, I just started getting attacked by flies. Yeah, check out that ventral. Very pretty. He's very cooperative. Didn't try to bite once. He's just very curious of my phone and stuff. What a cute snake. All right, I'm gonna put him down. And that's a good sign that right, if the snakes are out, that means hopefully there'll be a hog nose. All right, we got the second wood turtle of the day. I'm just gonna leave him or her alone. I'm guessing that's actually probably a female, but I'm not sure unless I pick her up. So I'm just gonna leave them alone. Keep on searching for hog nose snakes. I'm sure I'll probably be seeing a ton of wood turtles today, so. Pretty cool though. I'm definitely not taking it for granted because they're a very uncommon thing to find. This this one spot here just has an extremely healthy population, so I'm very fortunate to know about this spot. And I don't want to disturb the population too much. So yeah, I just keep on searching. Already found that rat snake earlier. The conditions feel perfect. That's already very humid, so kind of roasting right now. But hopefully the hog nest snakes will like it. All right, so this is a turtle I was not expecting to see out here. I'm actually shocked right now. This is a painted turtle, far away from any water source whatsoever. She's just chilling right here. This is very strange. Like box turtles and wood turtles, I expect to be far from water at this time of year. Oh my gosh, she's clawing my hands, basically. All right, hopefully she stays there. Yeah, I, I saw that pattern on the dorsal, or like how the scutes were laid out, and I was like, Okay, that's not a wood turtle or a box turtle. What is that? Like, like I figured it was, like, it looked like a painted turtle, but I'm so confused why there's a painted turtle this far away from water. Unless she's going to lay eggs or something. I mean, she's not laying eggs right now. She's kind of just chilling here. That is very, very strange. We got a northern racer right there. I'm not sure if I want to pick him up or not, because he's definitely going to annihilate my hand. I guess I will. I don't know. I just get super hyped at first when I see a snake. Whoa, this guy's lunging at me. Wow. You see that? It's like striking at my pants. Yeah, if they're gonna be that feisty, I'd rather just not pick them up then. I don't really feel like getting my hands completely bitten up today. He's somewhere in here. I don't know where. Feisty guy. All right, we got the first box turtle of the day. This guy is alive. He was poking his head out. That's pretty cool though. Looks like the scutes kind of fell off. Don't know what happened there, but just kind of showing the bone now. That's pretty crazy looking. This is a gnarly looking box too. Definitely a male. I saw the red eyes. He has his concave plaster on. Gonna leave him alone. Look him back under to where he was. Pretty cool. If only could have kept his head out for a little bit. Would have made for some better footage because he had a really beautiful head and feet. Like they're like very vibrant yellow. All right, guys. So I just moved to another spot that should hopefully have some hog nose snakes. I've been scouting it out on Google Maps and I actually just came here last week. It was, it's the place where the uh, box trolls were mating. But the first rock I flipped over by this little shady area next to the field got. A ringneck snake. There's actually another ringneck under there too. He went under some leaf litter. Didn't really chase him down. 
And then what I thought was a Decays, but it's actually, I'm pretty sure it's a Garter Snake. But still very cool. Yeah, I thought that was a Decays for a second because of the stripe right there. But definitely a Garter once I saw his face and everything. That's really cool. I actually don't normally see Neonate Garters much at all. It's been almost like a year and a half since I've seen a Neonate Garter. Really cool. Fossorial snakes. Well, I mean, I guess a garter snake isn't really that fossorial, but both are found under this rock here. So, really cool. I don't know what's up with all the ringnecks I've been finding having, like, this southern subspecies look. When they're definitely just northerns, but that's very, very weird. Like, like this is, like, this area of PA is definitely not an intergrade zone between the two subspecies. It's just a bunch of weird looking northerns, I think. All right, second flippable rock that I was able to flip. Got this ring neck snake. Honestly, when I was lifting that, I did not think there'd be anything under it because it went like super deep in the ground. And I never really have luck with any rocks that go like super, super deep. But this guy was, this guy was under it. Sadly, a lot of these rocks are just not flippable. That one is like, like I should be able to flip that, but it's like a little bit too heavy and I don't want to, like I probably could flip it, but I don't want to crush anything that might be underneath. I'm sure it's probably just ring necks and stuff, but it's going to be kind of sad if there's a milk snake under there or something. <laughs> All right. Oh boy, this guy's flailing, flailing around. All right. Going to put him back under. That's going to be the last ring neck I show. It's been quite a while since I've seen my last reptile, but here we go. Box turtle. Hopefully she doesn't go in her shell. I'm not going to pick her up or anything. Hey, you get a good look at her. <laughs> That's awesome. Rock shells are such beautiful animals. All right, we got a beautiful male box turtle here. Really beautiful. Let me see if I can get pretty... Oh, yeah, he's letting me get really close to him. Check that out. Wow. Box turtles are everywhere. I wonder how many box turtles that's been in just this one video alone. I feel like probably like four or five. Actually, I'm pretty sure five. We found that mating pair. That's pretty cool. All right, it's the first reptile of the day. We got this box turtle. Been seeing a lot of them lately. Very pretty female. Actually, that's kind of weird. The plaster one almost looked a little, looks a little bit concave, but yeah, I'm I know, pretty right? positive this is a female. With all the red eyes, makes me yeah. feel female, but that is very yeah, I mean, it looks like a female. Maybe it's just a weird, I don't know, just a weird individual. All right, so we just realized that this box turtle is actually missing the claws on this foot here because she had it tucked up really weirdly up in there and we thought it might be broken looks like just a deformed leg or maybe it got bitten off or something i'm not sure exactly what happened there it might just be something she had since birth yeah no claws though just a little stub kind of but she should still be able to get around at least she has three working legs and that one can still support her a little bit and help her move. All right, we got a ring neck snake right here. Pretty cool, but you guys have already seen a lot of these this video. I just saw a pretty big garter snake too, but I wasn't able to get my hands on him. He kind of took off, almost got him. And then I also saw it was probably a milk snake earlier, but I wasn't able to grab it in time because it could have been maybe a copperhead because I just, a bunch of vegetation you know it's like the size of a copperhead but it looked like it had a milk snakes pattern so wasn't quite able to grab it kind of hesitated there you go buddy